Welcome back to Beer Corner USA's Beers of the Week. I'm Aaron Bush, manager of Beertopia. And I'm Chris Patini, one of the bartenders down here on Crescent Moon Beer Corner USA. We usually spend the time so far over in the bars. We thought this week we'd come over here to Beertopia, where you usually find Aaron hanging out. This is his neck of the woods, and definitely where you're going to find some of the best selection of bottled beers in the entire city. Absolutely. In the Midwest. Twisted Pine Brewing Company's uh, American Amber Ale. 5.3% ABV, 55 IBUs, and it was a previous gold medal winner at GABF. Our first beer this, of this week is uh, from Twisted Pine Brewery out of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, originally found in 1995 by a gentleman by the name of Gordon Knight, um, who started the brewery with their flagship beer, the, 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 uh, the Amber, we're, we're going to try today. Uh, <clears throat> soon after that, 1996, a gentleman by the name of Bob Bale uh, purchased a brewery and has expanded it ever since. This is why I like coming to Beertopia. Aaron knows a lot of the background of the breweries. Well, I'm fortunate. A lot of the guys like to show up and hang out with me, so and I and have it, no problem. Yeah, you'll never know who's going to hang out in Beertopia. You might be hearing some brewer just as happen to be hanging out. Sure. Nice sure. color on that beer. Yeah, good amber. Uh, maybe a little copper, a little frothy head. Yeah, poured with a nice head, kind of a, a nice carbonation look to it. Wow, that's um, 55 IBUs, like a little caramel. Oh, very much yeah, so. Yeah, I get a little, that's good. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. This is the first time I've had this. I've had their other beers. Surprised you haven't tried it yet. This has actually been a, a previous gold medal right? winner at the GABF or the really? Great American Beer Festival out in cool. Colorado. Very cool. 5.3%. Easy session beer. Mm. The hops are good. Yeah, wow. it's got a nice sweetness to it, but yet then the hops come through more so than I think most... Uh, ambers than I've ever had. I agree. I would almost want to call this a pale ale. I, I, it's not far off, I tell you that. No, but then you get that nice sweetness of a traditional amber on mm -hmm. the back side that uh, definitely good. Yeah, the use of the crystal malts um, comes through, balances very well with the hoppies. Great Rivers Brewing Company's 483 Pale Ale, 5.4%, 48 IBUs, located in Davenport, Iowa. All right, the next beer we're doing today is Great River Brewing Company. Uh, excuse me, Great River Brewing. Uh, it's in Davenport, Iowa. And the brewery actually started out as a brew pub uh, in Iowa City and uh, has since moved to Davenport for their distribution and production. This is a, it comes in a 16-ounce can, four packs. And I know a lot of people, whenever I say can, or Aaron recommends a canned beer over here, their first thought is cans. Right. Cans are actually a wonderful form of, of packaging. This is a mini keg. Same kind of lining, same kind of quality. If you're like most, well, not everyone can pick up a keg and drink right out of it. No, not Don't so much. drink out of your can either. No. Like Aaron and I did, pour it in a glass. Pour it in a glass. Nice aroma on this beer. Cascade. That little Very spicy nice hop. hop. Yeah. I like how it pours. It's got a good, mm -hmm. a good carbonation to it. You got a nice head. It's got plenty of hop flavor. A little oh, bit. That's of, a big pale yeah, ale. It is. Um, that's good. Uh, 40, 48 IBU, so it's not super crazy like a pale ale shouldn't be. 5.4%, uh, 483 pale ale. It's got a nice amber color, clear. And a copper, tawny, filtered. Nice mouthfeel, good uh, bitterness on the tongue. Absolutely, the hang is nice. It's a nice beer. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming to Beertopia, Great River. Yeah, We're definitely. Glad to see you. Cheers. Cheers. Our next beer is from Madhouse Brewing Company in Newton, Iowa, which began production in January of 2010. This is their coffee stout and has an ABV of 6%. Our next beer today we're going to do is from Madhouse Brewing Company, located in Newton, Iowa. And it's actually in the former Maytag buildings on the property. And, and, and Maytag is a big place out in Iowa, and yep. also where Fritz Maytag, who went out to Anchor Steam's family, started from. Right. So kind of a neat little factoid for beer. Right. This beer company, uh, I should say brewery, began their production in 2010. And their head brewer, Mason Groban, has been really excited. I know he's been talking to Aaron a whole lot lately. Yeah, so. I've talked to Mason a couple times. Um, we actually... Uh, He's actually going to be in town uh, in the next week or, or so to hang out with us and have one of our festivals. So um, can't wait to meet him. Make some really good beers. Uh, this coffee stout, um, stellar beer. This is one of my favorite beers in the store as well. If you can tell by previous episodes, I'm a dark beer guy. Um, the beer, <clears throat> beer pour is obviously dark. Nice, creamy, dark tan head. 
Um, I can six, smell the coffee from yeah. here. The roast is really intense. Six percent alcohol, so it's not a, a big in-your-face bomb. Um, oh, that roast is delicious. Wow. Oh. I need some eggs. I need some egg, bacon and eggs. Yeah. Beer is not not only mm. for in the evening, but you can have it for breakfast. Absolutely. Well, I feel like I'm sure that I... Coffee, a little bit of hops. The roast is smooth. Oh, wow. Um, mm, that's good. Uh, 48 IBUs, so it's fairly hoppy. Um, like I said, 6%. Very drinkable, man. Very coffee. Very, very coffee. rich, very malty. A great beer. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Next brewery is Cricket Hills Bourbon Barrel Aged Porter. They're located in Fairfield, New Jersey, and this beer comes in with an ABV of 6.7%. The next new brewery we're going to taste is Cricket Hill Brewery out of New Jersey, out of Fairfield, New Jersey. Um, this is a uh, bourbon barrel-aged porter from the Reserve Series. 6.7% alcohol. Ooh, that pours good. I've not had this one yet. I, you know, I've had this uh, when we first got it in um, about six months ago. This was the touted one. Um, and it didn't disappoint. Wow, well, I smell bourbon in the mellow. Wonderful bourbon. Oh, nice bourbon Smooth. aroma. Smooth. When I first had this uh, a few months ago, the bourbon was pretty predominant. Now that it's aged a little bit here in the store, uh, in the refrigerator, it's mellow. It's vanilla. Yeah, I get a lot of that oaky vanilla flavor from this beer. Um, the bourbon comes through. The, the malt isn't as predominant. It's really a lot of that uh, that bourbon and oak age yeah. flavor coming on this But beer. it's not overbearing. No, not at all. Very pleasant. Yeah. This beer needs a nice steak. Yeah, a steak or a back porch. Back porch with a nice fine cigar. That would be okay. That wouldn't be bad. Okay. I wouldn't be upset. No. Cricket Hill. Oh wow! They uh, Cricket Hill kind of a new little factoid for them. They are the sponsor, or the new sponsor, I should say, of the Nathan Hot Dog Contest that they do contest. up there in New York. Yeah, yeah. so that's kind of cool too. It's gonna get crazy. Another good one to add to the Beertopia lineup. Definitely. Cheers. Cheers. Well, thanks again for joining us with Beers of the Week, uh, Beer Corner USA, uh, here in l luxurious uh, Beertopia. Uh, stop in the store sometime. Uh, for these four breweries that are, are fairly new to the state. Um, can't wait to see you in. And don't forget to also follow us on our Facebook pages and our website at beercornerusa.com. And we'll see you down here on Beer Corner for some great beer. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.